Hello everybody, this is Michael Smiley coming at you with another review video. Um, today I want to talk about the Mummy franchise with uh, Brandon Fraser and um, Rachel Weisz. So, <clears throat> this is actually one of my all-time favorite series. Um, I can watch it over and over and over and it doesn't matter what time of the day it is. You put it in and I am, um, my attention is glued to the TV. Now, <clears throat> I absolutely love this series. I think that it has, um, I don't think that the romance is too romanticized. I don't think that the comedy is too severe. I don't think that there's too much action. I think that everything is very perfectly balanced out. I think that it is completely, um, that the pacing of it is so, um, is so nicely done. Uh, the special effects, uh, are, are pretty cool, actually. I absolutely love the story. I think that it has a very strong, solid story. Um, and the um, their interactions with all the the characters and stuff, um, especially uh, Rachel Wise and uh, Brandon Fraser, their interactions with each other is absolutely hysterical, um, especially in the first movie. Uh, the Mummy Returns is actually my favorite. There's... Okay, so I am going to include Tom Cruise's The Mummy in this as well. Um, so, I mean, whether you... Whether it's not part of it or it is, I'm still going to talk about it in this video. So... <clears throat> because it is a completely separate story. It is basically another remake of The Mummy. So, um, so The Mummy was a solid first movie, uh, and it was, um, you know, really strong, really great. Uh, it's mostly comedy and action with a little bit of romance. Um, but it wasn't done in a mushy way. It was, it was, it was, um, it was one of those bickering kind of, I can't stand you, but I really do kind of things. Um, but like I said, the, the, the mummy returns, which is the second one, um, built on the story and, um, it is my favorite, uh, by far. I, I love the flashbacks to ancient Egypt and just all of it. I love, I love everything about The Mummy Returns. Um, and the Tomb of the Dragon Emperor. Okay. <clears throat> I just want to throw this out there. I did... It would have been a perfect movie. Literally. A perfect movie. It would have been a perfect movie because it had all the elements of making a fantastic, entertaining movie if Rachel Weisz was in it. And the original son that played in The Mummy Returns. Um, because he would have been that age anyway, so they could have used him and utilized him, but they didn't, and Rachel Weisz didn't come back for this one, or they replaced her, and that's literally the only complaint. The special effects were amazing. Like, the story was amazing. Uh, it had, it was like... It was a huge, great big budget movie again, and um, 
and it, it would have been incredible if Rachel Weisz would have been in it. I, I do, I'm not I'm not taking anything away from the actress that, that played for her character in the third one, but she's not Evie. Um, she was just a stand-in, um, and that's all that I'm going to say about that, because I'm not going to say anything mean or bad about that actress, because it's not her fault, and I think that she's a good actress. She's just not Rachel Wise, who was Evie in the first two movies. But other than that, it was a gr an excellent movie. Well, I didn't really... They could have done with the original actor for The Sun, too. Um, but that's literally the only uh, critique that I really have about the movie, because I loved everything else about it. <clears throat> and I think that they actually um, teased about Aztec mummies at the end of the... Tomb of the Dragon Emperor movie, which I think would have been amazing, and I think that they could have, especially if they got Rachel Wise back and everything, they could have done such an incredible movie again, and it would have brought a whole new atmosphere, just like the Tomb of the Dragon Emperor brought a whole new atmosphere. It wasn't ancient Egypt anymore. It was a whole new ball game, um, and it was a progressive story. They could have progressed it again in, you know, ancient Aztec and everything. Um, but they didn't, and for some reason they rebooted it again, remade the original mummy, the black and white mummy, um, and they went Back with the Egyptian mummy type thing. But, I mean, like, this one with Tom Cruise was totally different. Totally different. So, that movie got a lot of flack. And I don't think that it should have. Um, I think that it should have been more successful than it was because I actually did find it very entertaining. I really, really did thoroughly enjoy it. I'm not a big Tom Cruise fan at all, but I really do think that he did uh, a really great job in this movie. Um, I, I actually loved everything about this movie, other than the fact that it's not a continuation of Brandon Fraser and Rachel Weisz's The Mummy series, but the studio studios mess up. So, there's that. I have nothing really else to say about that. I think that they should have ran with it. I think that they, with this Tom Cruise one, instead of messing up again just because of box office, box office quality does not translate into quantity, and quantity does not translate into quality. The Tom Cruise one was quality. Well, the Brandon Fraser and the Rachel Wise ones were also. But, um, they, they should have continued the Dark Horse series or whatever they, they called it, the, 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 um, franchise with all the monsters, like the Thing, the Wolfman, the Mummy, Dracula, they should have went with that, um, after doing the Mummy. And then hopefully the next movie, because it was about something else, then if that one was successful, then they could all intertwine the the series there that they were trying to build, the universe there, and um, but they didn't. And it's just really, really sad and obnoxious that, yet again, they're probably going to reboot it, because why? Why reboot it? You did perfectly fine. But studios only care about money, so. Um, let me know what you guys think about these movies. Um, what did you think about Tom Cruise's The Mummy movie? What did you think about um, The Mummy Returns and The Dragon Emperor and all that? Um, I really, really love this series, so I really love talking about it. And I can go on and on and on. So 
make sure you like this video comment below um, your thoughts and how, what you would have done differently what you'd like to see in the future and make sure you subscribe to my channel guys have a great day